Welcome all to BTVN. I'm Joey Penn, and I have the pleasure today of hosting with Juan Joe. Good to be here, Joey. We have some historical events that happened on October 2nd. Today was the day the San Diego Zoo was found in 1916. Also tomorrow, in uh, 1849, Oscar Edgar Allan Poe is found crazy in Baltimore, and this is the last time he is seen in public. That is great high note. <laughs> to start the show, let's get started with a weather report from Tess and Madison. Good morning, I'm Tess Phillips, and welcome to BTVN's new weather segment. You know what they say about the weather in Missouri, Madison? What do they say, Tess? If you don't like it, wait around a few hours and it'll change. Can you believe we are planning on 60 degrees for this high for the Saturday? For those of you running in the Barstow 5K, make sure you bundle up and are ready for a chilly morning in the low 50s due to rain and thunderstorms moving in through Friday night. Now for all of you excited for tomorrow's inaugural World's Fair, you'll want to think in layers. Bring a light jacket for the morning, but be ready with sunscreen and a hat for the afternoon. I also hear there's going to be a lot of walking, so comfortable shoes are advised. Do you have comfortable shoes on today, Madison? No, but I will on Thursday. Perfect. And in the spirit of creating a sustainable future, remember to bring your own reusable water bottle to fill up throughout, throughout the day. Those plastic bottles sit in landfills from 450 to 1,000 years, and according to PostConsumers.com, 90% of plastic bottles aren't even recycled. But this bottle, Madison, this only sits in my locker, and it can be recycled from day to day. Yes, it can, Tess. Overall, it looks to be a beautiful day, partly cloudy with a high of 82 degrees. That 50% chance of rain we've been hearing about won't roll in until later in the day. The jury is still out, though, on whether we will have snow for Halloween this year. So stay glued to your screen, and we'll keep you posted. From BTVN, this is Madison and Tess reporting the weather. That was some awesome weather reports. It's pretty cool to have a Barstow weather woman. Yeah, those two did a great job. Really like looking forward to see more of that. If you, want, if you want to see more of these awesome segments, please email btvn.barstowschool.org. Now speaking of World's Fair, thanks Tess and Medicine for letting us know what to wear for tomorrow's World Fair. Yes, and if you're looking to vol for volunteer hours, there are still plenty of opportunities out there. Some of these include the Barstow Cross Country Meet on October 8th or helping at the 5K. If you need hours, please email Mrs. Zimmerman for details. Will Wanjo, have you ever uh, given blood before? Um, no, I just turned 16, so my first plus giving will take in Barstow, maybe. I have, and it's, it's a pretty cool experience, but apparently there's more than meets the eye when it comes to the Barstow blood drive, so take a look at this promo by Jesse Payne. I'm here to take your blood. It's a blood drive. What are you gonna do with my blood? I'm just going to send it back to the community blood center where they will test the blood and give it to those in need of it.
that was quite a piece. I really love Jesse Payne's stories, especially all the special, special effects he puts into those. It really just makes it a great. Yeah, good job, Jesse. And speaking of other news, the first Chat and Chew for middle school is coming up October 30th. It's a great opportunity to enjoy reading and have some great food and conversations with friends. We now go to our final story for today's show, Meets Mrs. Pavin. My name is Miss Pavin. I'm from El Paso, Texas. Just moved to Kansas City, Missouri about two months ago. And I am a high school math teacher and have taught for three years in Texas. And now I'm excited to be here. I found out about the opportunity at Barstow through Mr. Pepin, the Spanish teacher. He is friends with my cousin at a birthday party for my little cousin. He has little kids that were, were playing there and he just found out I was a teacher and just raved about how awesome Barstow was and said I really need to see if Barstow had anything opened and he set me up with Mr. Nelson and the rest is history. I got into teaching when I was really little. My mom was a math teacher and I grew up playing teacher and just loved it every day and that's all I've ever wanted to be. I hope, because I love Barstow so much, that I hope that I will be here for a long time and hopefully get a job at the high school teaching math. In lower school, the kids are fun and I feel that I get paid to play with them. I hope that I give them a happy environment and enjoy coming to school and encouragement to move on in life, to set their goals high and be what they want to be. And in upper school, the kids are also fun. We joke around and at the same time we're also learning a lesson. Something I've always enjoyed is I, I'm a very outdoorsy person so I water ski and snow ski and ride horses on my times that I am not in the classroom. Welcome to Barstow, Ms. Pavin. It's really great to have you and we look forward to seeing you in the halls. And that's all we have for this show today and I'm Joe Penn. And I'm Wanjo. Have a good day, Barstow.